Would you excuse me one second? I apologize for the sunlight glare. Um, there's nothing I can do to fix it. So if it bothers you guys, I'm terribly sorry. So um, hi everybody, it's Mina. Welcome back to my channel. Or if this is the very first video that you're seeing of me, then welcome to my channel. Please be sure to hit that subscribe button down below if you didn't already. I post every day except for Tuesday and Friday afternoon sometimes. And today I'm going to read you guys a book. And today's story is going to be Tyrone the Horrible. And I'm going to dedicate this video to my sister, Tessa. Tessa, if you're watching this, I love you so much. And I hope Hope you enjoy this video and this was one of her favorite books so I'm really excited to read it it also was one of mine and I think it was my brother's favorite too so I'm going to get started and I hope you guys enjoy the video to Daniel Boland was a little dinosaur. He lived with his mother and father in a great swamp forest. There were a lot of dinosaur children in Boland's neighborhood. They played together every day, and Boland was friendly with all of them. All of them except one. Oh, isn't this cute? Pardon me while I take a sip of my coffee. His name was Tyrone. Or Tyrone the Horrible. He was usually, he, as he was usually called. He was just a kid himself, but he was much bigger and much stronger than most of the others. He was a really real bully if you ever saw one. In fact, he was the world's first big bully. Tyrone especially liked to pick on Boland. He punched and teased him and always stole his snack or sandwich. Boland tried to stay out of Tyrone's way, but it seemed... No, that no matter where he went, Tyrone was waiting for him. Oh, look, he's got him in a headlock. Night after night, Bullen had a hard time getting to sleep. He kept thinking about ways to avoid Tyrone. It seemed hopeless. Bullen's playmates tried to help. You have to get Tyrone to be your friend, Terry said to Bolin one day. That's easier th said than done, Bolin said. How do you make friends with someone who has been hurting or teasing you all your life? You have to give him a present and show him you care, Terry said. Bolin thought for a while, what kind of present could he give Tyrone? Then he remembered how Tyrone always was always taking his snacks and sandwiches. A present for Tyrone, he, Ron, he said. Well, at least it's worth a try. He was asleep, and there he is with his playmate. That afternoon, Bolin went looking for Tyrone. Here, he said to, in his friendliest voice, It's such a hot day, I thought you might like a nice ice cream cone. Tyrone looked at Bolin for a moment. Then he smiled with a nasty smile. Ice cream for me? How sweet! He's got ice cream and then he's eating the grass. Coffee break. Tyrone grabbed the cone. Then he turned it upside down and squashed it on Bolin's head. Ha, 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 Tyrone laughed and walked away. Bolin could hear Tyrone's laughter for a long time echoing through the forest. The next day, Bolin told his friend Stella what happened. You are taking this too seriously, Stella said. 
Don't pay any attention to that bully, big bully, when he tries to tease you. Just stay cool. That's the only thing he'll understand. Staying cool when you are scared is not easy, Bullen said, but I will try. He's got ice cream smashed on his head. There he is with his friend. And the next t and so the next time Bullen met Tyrone, he sa stayed cool. Hi, Lizardhead, word Tyrone as Bullen walked by. How about my sandwich? Bullen did not pay any attention to him and didn't even run away. He kept on walking. Eating the leaves and then he's got it. Sandwich. I guess I'll have to help myself again, Tyrone said. He stomped on Bullen's tail until Bullen let go of the sandwich. He Bullen tried not to show his tears, but it hurt a lot. When Bullen's friends found out what Tyrone had done, they were furious. It's time to fight back, Stego said. Tyrone has given you enough trouble. You must stand up to him and show him him you are a dinosaur too. You can play you can win any fight against Ty against him. Tyrone just was a big mouth that is has just has a big mouth, that's all. Bolin was angry too. You're right, he said. Maybe I should fight fight him and stop his this nonsense once and for all. Well, Stego said, Let's do it right now. The four friends marched off to find Tyrone. There he is, stepping on his tail, and then he's talking to his friends. Bolin stood up and faced Tyrone the horrible. Listen, you brute, he said. I have had enough of your bullying. Come on and fight. Tyrone took one look on at Bolin, then grinned, said, Okay, if that's what you want. He's acting all tough. Watch out, Tyrone. It was a very short fight. Little Bolin had no chance against his big enemy. I'm sorry, Stego said. That was not a very good idea. You'd better give up. Some bullies just can't be beat. Can't, some bullies you just can't beat. You have to learn to live with them, whether you like it or not. But Bullen did not like it. There just has to be a way to beat a bully, he thought. He was still thinking as the moon came out and the stars filled the sky. Suddenly he smiled a big smile. That's it, he said to himself. Then he curled up and was soon fast asleep. Oh, he's injured. Poor guy. The next morning, Bolin took his sandwich and went off into the swamp forest as usual. It wasn't before long before he ran into Tyrone. Another snack for me, roared Tyrone. I hope it's something good. And with a swipe, he swiped the sandwich out of Bolin's hand and swallowed it with a big gulp. Bolin walked as fast as he could. Suddenly, then he heard a terrible scream. Look, there he is. And he took his sandwich. Ugh! It was Tyrone. Huge flames were coming out of his mouth. Help, I'm burning, he cried. I'm dying. I'm poisoned. Help! Help! <coughs> Excuse me. Nonsense, Bullen said with a laugh. It was just only a sandwich. I didn't know you were, sen were so sensitive. I happen to like double thick red hot pepper sandwiches. Too bad you don't. He turned around and went off, leaving the moaning and groaning Tyrone behind. <laughs> oh, look, his mouth is on fire. From then on, Tyrone stayed as far away from Bolin as he could. Bolin played happily with his friends in the swamp forest all day, and he never had trouble falling asleep at night. How cute is that? They're playing. Bye, bully.
When much later some scientists found Tyrone the Horrible, he looked a little different, but he still had the nasty smile on his face. Here he is, he's in a skeleton form. Okay, so that was me reading Tyrone the Horrible. I'm sorry this was so long. Um, thank you guys so much for watching. Please be sure to like and subscribe if you haven't already. Tessa, I hope you love this video. I post every day except for Tuesday and Friday afternoon sometimes, and I'll see you in another video soon. Bye!